Ansible inventories. In this lecture we will see exactly how to create an inventory and how to use it. First, after you install Ansible, you will have it in etc Ansible. This is a path where all of the files are saved by default. And one of the important files that enables the configuration is Ansible CFG. In Ansible CFG, you can define the path for inventory. As you can see here, the path for this is in a directory host inside the etc Ansible path file. Okay, in the directory host, you can create several files. As you can see here, there are already some directories and other files created. The name of the directories or the files doesn't matter except for the group vars and host vars, which are clearly uh, something specific for managing hosts and a group of hosts. But for that, we will not dive in this lecture. We will just talk about the simple inventory file. We will take this one. So if we look inside it, we have an example when you create when you install ansible this is one of the files that is created and you can work with it or you can create other entries right now we are working on a main uh, central server named server and we have three separate systems node 1 node 2 and node 3 that are managed by this uh, system as you can see here there are several groups created uh, test servers web servers and DB servers. Uh, inside test servers there are three uh, systems, inside web servers one and two in DB servers. They can be shared between them. So you can see here that some of them are present here and here and some of them are present in DB servers and test servers. Okay, let's just work with uh, uh, DB servers in this case. So once this inventory file is created, you can go with a command like this, use uh, the group test uh, DB servers minus M ping. Minus M means module and ping is the ping module. This will simply just do a ping and see if the systems are reachable. We'll wait a few seconds for the output to show. And we can see here that node 2 and node 3 are reachable. If we look again in the inventory file, inventory file, DB servers node 3 and 2. Again, you can use different modules, for example, shell module and a command to see exactly the kernel version and host. And you can see here for each system, we have the kernel version, the exact output of the command run on each server. Now you know.